Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 17, Job Practice. Single V-groove weld, butt joint, 45 degree fixed position, 6G, with pulsed current. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on 8-inch diameter Schedule 60 steel pipe in the 6G position, using pulsed current for the root and second pass. The finished pipe weld should have a flat to slightly convex face, not exceeding 1 8 inch. The root reinforcement should be from flush with the base metal to 1 16 inch. Material, 8 inch diameter schedule 60 steel pipe, 6 rings per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. 3 32nd inch diameter E7018 and 1 8 inch diameter E7018. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. Prepare and tack weld a set of pipe rings with the procedure outlined in topic 11. Clamp the workpiece in the 6G position with the narrowest root opening at 12 o'clock. Orient the piece so that the tack wells are located at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. The machine settings are polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 125 to 130. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. In order to set the machine for welding with pulsation, additional adjustments should be made. Pulsation, on. Percent weld current, 30. Low pulse time for the root pass, 5. And for the second pass, 3.5. High pulse time for the root pass, 5. And for the second pass, 5. Bear in mind that slight variations in the pulsed current settings may be necessary, depending on the joint fit-up and other welding conditions. Position the torch at 6 o'clock with a 90 degree work angle and a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle, resting the nozzle against the joint bevels. Hold the filler rod against the joint edges at a 10 degree angle. Start the arc and maintain a 1 16th inch arc length. Hold the torch motionless until the high pulse time is complete and the arc dims. Then move upwards during the low pulse time to the near edge of the crater. Pause until the high pulse is complete and then move again, well from 6 to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe. The resulting weld should look similar to a series of overlapping spot welds on both the face and the root side. The weld should be flat or slightly concave. The root reinforcement should be flush or a maximum of 1 16th inch. If there are unwelded spaces between the spots, then reduce the distance that the torch travels between high pulses. If excessive melt-through occurs, either the torch was not moved far enough along during the low pulse time, or the current for the low pulse time is set at too high a level. The high pulse time may be set too high as well, 
any of these variables or a combination of them can produce the same result. Excessive root penetration indicates that the high pulse may be set at too long an interval or that the low pulse time is too short. This causes too many and too short torch movements over a given distance. On the other hand, insufficient root penetration indicates that the high pulse time is too short. at the edge of the weld during the high pulse. Repeat this movement for each cycle of low and high pulse. This movement prevents the bead from becoming excessively convex and improves the penetration at the junction of the root bead and the pipe bevel. It may be necessary to increase the current setting to achieve the proper fusion and appearance. Do not set the current too high though or the quality of the bead may be affected. The finished second pass should be flat or slightly convex and have good penetration into the joint bevel with no undercut. The remainder of the joint will be filled with a shielded metal arc process. The machine settings are polarity, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity, amperage settings, 85 to 110 for the 3 seconds inch diameter E7018 and 110 to 125 for the 1 8th inch diameter E7018. The shielded metal arc beads are deposited with the same technique and procedure as presented in topic 15. The first two passes are deposited using the 3 seconds inch electrode and the remainder of the passes are made with the 1 8 inch electrode. A layer of two beads are deposited, followed by a layer of three beads, and then a layer of four to cap the joint. When you are finished, inspect the weld, and then continue practice. <laughs>